Hi guys, um, I'm here again at my garden and I'm starting where I left off last time. Uh, the tour of second part of my garden, the back side of it. So this is the milkweed, getting beautiful. And there's some more milkweed coming everywhere. So expecting butterflies soon. And there's my sunflower. And there's some maple tree growing. I just uh, found some saplings, so just uh, put them in those big containers and they're growing pretty good. This is my uh, 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 squash. I showed you in last video, it got eaten by groundhog, but now it's got grown back some leaves grown some new leaves growing and we see some squash coming a few of them nice hey. and there's asparagus going to seeds behind it and there are some flowers growing here and some mint and lemongrass, a lot of mean lemongrass. Here's my ship sorrel. It's all going into seeds. So I don't know if I'm going to uh, try to plant it in some other area. So I have more uh, land covered with it because it's very medicinal. It's, it's actually curing cancer. And not just the leaves and plants, but especially roots of sheep sorrel um, are medicinal and they cure in the um, part of a sick tea so i actually bought it from a sick tea company the seeds for it so i have it growing everywhere now and this is my cilantro going into seeds i'm not going to pull it out now even so i need space but i'm waiting on it to go into seeds and you see them coming in now and some flowers still for pollinators um i'll wait um for you know for the for the um seeds to grow so and then i'll pull them all out after the seeds are ready and flowers are gone and i planted something from my back porch i still have plenty of stuff i can plant here from my back porch so you can see here's some sheep swirl growing and going into seeds and this is my tomatoes coming in i planted them not long time ago and this is my beans and some okra see the okras here there they are i don't i didn't plant them long time ago so it'll take a while and some more cilantro growing into seeds some more tomatoes see the tomatoes blooming and you see the tomato on it and more tomatoes this is more zucchini and this is a pepper another tomato and this is green beans Let's see what kind of beans it is um it says long beans okay we'll see this is pumpkins growing so this side of garden uh waited for longer to uh plant everything in it because i didn't have time just my i didn't have enough time to work with it and i had it, all these plants growing on my back porch and finally we got all my family got here and we just worked it and we just basically did a victory garden so we just uh, dug dig big holes in our beds and we brought some good soil some compost i'll show you in a minute our compost and we just planted all the saplings here the little plants here and now they're growing same with tomatoes there. see the tomatoes here so those tomatoes i planted probably a month earlier here so they are bigger they started in the same place uh, on my back porch i'll show you later but they're just a little bit bigger 
and those beans. Those beans are, we need to put some stalks for them so they can go up because right now they're going on this potato. See, they're just going up on a potato and they don't need to go on a potato. They need their long bamboo sticks so they can go up. That tomato, one of those two. See, that I planted probably months earlier than the rest of this back side of the garden. So everything on this side, I'll show you. It was planted about a month earlier, so you can see that it's much far advanced from the back side of the garden. And those are the beans that need to be tied up and need to be go, that they need to be going up to, because they're going everywhere now, see? This long side of it going up. And this, this is my chocolate sprinkle tomatoes. See how beautiful they are. Yay. They'll be pretty color when they're ready to go. So those plants are much bigger. Yeah, because I transplant, they grow much better in the soil here than inside. This is my bush beans, so they don't need to be tied up. They just grow here. See the beans? So you just come and pick it up. They're ready. Here they are. Beans beautiful there you go and another tomato need to put some something to support cages to support them some garlic and another big tomato here iris and this tomato I just planted not long time ago and it's growing pretty good. This is rainbow tomato. And if you didn't notice, I have everything covered with this grass clippings. So uh, when we cut in the grass, we have a big yard, we have over it, over an acre. So when we cut in this grass, we bag it, bring it here, and we cover all the surface around the, the, our plants. To, for them uh, to use as a fertilizer for nitrogen and the grass clippings and uh, to keep it from drying out so we don't have to um, as a mulch so we don't have to um, um, water it so often and it will just keep moisture and they'll grow much faster my mom told me that and it's another nice tomato my mom is the big gardener and they always had the garden but she teaches me some tips that I didn't know about and this is one of them and I want I wanted to share it with you about the grass clipping so hopefully you can use it too and this is see the squash plants this is the plants that the groundhog got into last time too but it looks like it didn't kill it and it's trying, it's trying to grow. So hopefully, hopefully they'll go on. This is, um, um, it's a melon. It's a melon, dino melon growing. See, the flowers here, it's a dino melon. Okay, so on this side, this is all cilantro. And they cover a big area of this bed and I need this bed, but I have to wait because they're almost done and I just hate to throw them away and I have to, I just have to wait. So I just wait. See, all the seeds, they're almost brown. When they turn brown, they dry out and I can just pick them all up and I can plant them again. And I have more, I love cilantro. You know that cilantro, it's the best thing to uh, pull out all your heavy metals from your body so the cilantro is the best of the best thing that's why i have so much of it um there's some more tomatoes that i planted not long time ago squash pepper pepper beans pepper eggplant dana melons okay so this is the end of this garden so i'll just show you this way Tomatoes. And now that cilantro that I just showed you, 
I'll have all the space after I get it out. And this is my compost right next to the barn. So the compost pile, I used everything on this side and then I pushed the 